Given the fact that you have aspirations to be a world leader in electric mobility, is the government looking at extension and perhaps also enhancing uh, the incentives and the subsidies under FAME? Actually, this is to be decision which is related with the finance ministry. But as far as my vision is concerned, I feel that after a year, we don't need subsidy. Because of the bulk production, the cost of the e-vehicle, it will be very cheaper and electric as a fuel. India is, is uh, electric surplus. And we are now working on a big level for making of solar energy. So that is also the important, the energy cost is 2 rupees 30 paisa per unit. So mm. the problem is day by day, we are going to reduce the cost on electricity and it is economically viable. There is a big saving. And when the cost of e-vehicle and petrol vehicle and diesel vehicle will be equal as compared to the price of diesel and petrol with the electricity, 100% it is a economically very, very viable. So after that, I feel that there is no need for any subsidy. People choice, they will take it and there is no problem for that. So you're saying that fame, when it expires this year, that will be the end as far as the government subsidy scheme is concerned? No, I'm not the authority to give you the official comments on it. It is up to the finance ministry and heavy industry ministry. They are supposed to take the call on this decision. But uh, I don't know what is to be decision they are going to take. But it is under their purview and they will take the decision. I'm not talking and giving any comments about that decision. But it is with the ministry which is authorized for taking that decision. But Mr. Gadkari, you know, you talked about the economics of e-vehicles, whether it is three wheelers, two wheelers, cars, buses, trucks, etc. If you talk to the manufacturers today, they're basically saying that, look, at this point in time, given the supply demand dynamics, uh, it is not viable for them. They are losing money on the product at this point in time and hence the need for government support, at least for a little bit longer. What do you have to say to that argument? Actually, considering GST, the petrol diesel vehicle, there is a GST is 48%. And e-vehicle, the GST is only 12%. That is a big support. Regarding the subsidy, that is the decision under the Ministry of Finance and Heavy Industries. Still on the GST, this is a big benefit for the all manufacturer. And the most important thing is, is related with the volume. When the manufacturing number is increased, 100% it is going to be economically viable and probably the situation is that the people are now referring to take e-vehicles, 100% the volume is going to increase, it will reduce the cost and it will be win-win situation for all the stakeholders. And by will the, the government policy it? also, by the scrapping yeah. policy also, we are going to create more demand. And actually, I feel that that is to be a win-win situation for manufacturers also. You know, you preempted my question, Mr. Gadkari, because that's exactly what I was going to ask you. Since you talked about the scrapping policy, is the scrapping policy also going to be linked to the government's efforts to stimulate demand for e-vehicles? Uh, you've made it mandatory for all government vehicles above the age of 15 years to be scrapped as part of that policy. Will you now mandatory? Uh, will you now make it mandatory for government vehicles to be e-vehicles? There is also the line that when I was with the power minister, he has taken a decision that they will purchase only e-vehicle. I cannot make this law, but I am requesting all the department and state governments and public undertaking that whatever the new vehicle you are purchasing, please give us priority for purchasing of e-vehicles. Now there is an awareness already in the mind of the people and in the government agency. Now people want to take purchase e-vehicle and there are a lot of new designs are coming to the market and 100% people are going to give their choice for that. And I'm very much positive and optimistic about it.